I would like to testify to something. As were my wish to testify before the justice system. Regarding the condition and situation that I have been placed in. In the online community base, the people who are opposed to what Israel is doing to God are quite rightly indignant, shocked, diminished, horrified are allies of those Israelis when it comes to me. And yet, there's no reason. It's a joke for them, but a deadly serious one. What Seattle, Washington has done to me is a history of pressure point extrusion interrogation, trying to torture me into altering my opinions. I know a little bit about dissenting opinions. I know that Judge Harlan, who wrote the dissenting opinion for Plessy versus Ferguson, also known as the first Judge Harlan, was considered the last of the tobacco spitten judges. He wasn't a perfect man, but he saw the arrogance, foolishness, and wrongheadedness of segregation, as did James Garfield. I live with a neurological condition that was implanted in my brain and tampering with which has led to Parkinson's. These things cannot be changed medically. They cannot be healed. And I've been put in a situation where crafty undercover so-called peers have worked manipulation lines to put pressure on these neurological injuries. This is what I'm looking for judicial remedy concerning. I need to protect my minority opinion. There's no question that I have reasons, grounds, and stated affidavits that show I truly believe my minority opinion. I wouldn't hold this opinion, did I not. Nor did I think of it or dream it up. I've shown that the sources were things that I came around to. And if I can't convince the judiciary to come around to them as well, the least you can do is mandate that the criminals in this state lay off. That's why I want circumstances which are an improvement to the ones that I am in. I want my work protected. I want my nervous system relieved of cruel and unusual interrogation methods. I want enough space and privacy that I can get up and get around. And last but not least, I need adult assisting living or will soon. At home, adult care and nursing. I can't cook for myself because I don't understand diet. I'm going to reach the point where I can't get my own socks on. And these things are anticipated to worsen more rapidly in an environment of this sort of sadism. It was completely uncalled for. There's no reason or justification or rationalization that any of these people can provide for doing what they have done to me. None whatsoever. They did it because they envied my potential, plain and simple. And I was too young and overwhelmed to understand that they were taking from me my legitimately earned status in our society as a cultured human being with good priorities and mental capacities and the ability to participate, even to lead. I understand that the people of Gaza have been horribly wronged. My heart does go out to them. I'm not promising to help anybody if I win, but I will be in a circumstance that is improved enough that I can give due consideration to the world around me. I'm not looking for revenge. I'm looking for public safety and private happiness.
to the best of my ability to recover from such a long and grueling, lifelong ordeal. And the Seattle criminals have proven that they have no intention of stopping. They're criminally insane. They feel justified. They're ghoulishly employed in an assassination. And they're working for somebody who is hell-bent on seeing it fulfilled. And I've gone to court saying that a mandamus opinion should be issued, that Seattle and the government of the state of Washington should be compelled to desist from their sadism 